Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen uh, Flawless Run where I'm trying to beat the game without losing soldiers, missions or getting hit. Time for the Codex Brain Coordinates. 19 enemies sounds uh, reasonable. We get the typical mixture plus a gatekeeper at the end. So let's take our prime team for another spin or parts of the prime team. Ghost 8.5 and inappropriate uh, Murphy, but mainly Ghost and 8.5 need uh, a promotion. So let's try to get some kills onto them. And the rest is really just to fill up and give us a good time. All right. Time to run this mission. Good. That's the last um, mission of the Golden Path, so we should be fine. One thing about this mission in particular is burying chrysalids. And uh, to counter them, I got a couple of battle scanners with me. In the meantime, let's begin to make our way into the right direction. Okay, high ground somewhere. Well, right over there, but that's about it. All right. Double time. Eight five. Hexer. Inappropriate Murphy takes that little bit of high ground, and we're good to go. Good. Around the next high ground we already got boring. Around that L shape we got two chrysalids. Okay, fair enough. Good. Unfortunately, the Reaper is going to be spotted out with chrysalids. Chrysalids are here, by the way. Let's pull the first pack question mark. Might as well just let it come a bit closer. Heading out. Moving to designated coordinates. I like high ground for the death from above shenanigan, but that's closest we can get. Running. Heading to that location. Okay, as mentioned, I don't want to get too close to that pack. Um, there are chrysalids right here. It's an interesting pack as well. Berserker plus dual elite specter. Put frost these guys and start getting those. Not the worst idea. Catch. Oh, 
Okay, so for starters. Let's see, can we move to a position where we can actually see the Mac? I would argue it can be seen very well from here. But apparently that is not the case. That triggers none of the chrysalids and no overwatch either. But thankfully, with our blade storm, well, that guy is dead. Shredding the mech. Removing Overwatch in the process, and let's try. Oh, can't really, can't really hit the mech. That is very, very unfortunate. <laughs> Six percent chance to miss, and we are missing. All right. I don't know what that tree uh, tree line does, but boy, it makes it very very difficult to see the mech. Not a problem. Can hit everyone short of the mech. That's really a poor position to engage with a Mac. Luckily at least the chrysalids are being drawn out uh, with a mimic beacon. That's a nice little side effect. Time to clean up. Good, just trying to be efficient with our utilization of resources here. Prepping most, if not all of them, for deaths from above. Unfortunately... Last chrysalid. 
is in a blind spot. Free attack. Check it before you get too close. If you say so. Getting some loot. It's heavier than it looks. Hitting the spectre. And really what we want to do is get all of them down. kill gotta be slightly careful here we would get untouchable if we kill it, uh, mm, the spectre, so that's not a kill. Like I, oh, it is one. Never mind. But we're moving forward so that we're the potential target. And enough damage to get him down. There's another chrysalid. Late storm should be enough to kill him. Yeah. Okay. Slowly but surely moving up. Let's move already. There are still chrysalids somewhere, so no time to spare. I would like to be careful here. Still have free reloading, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Scanning. Come up. On overwatch. But this might untie a couple of chrysalids. It's a bug nest. One, two, and we got something else over there. Very well. the mark. 
Two, four, six, eight, nine. Pistol setup and four kill. Okay, moving up. I want to see that other chrysalid. Odyssey, so all right. Let's start with them. No longer a threat. More over here. We're green to go. This will trigger the other codices. Chrysalid's so far untouched. This here blocks line of sight. Not sure if this is even line of sight, uh, but we're going to find out in a second. Good to go. Free reload and kill zone in this direction, which could hit multiple chrysalids. Yep, didn't see it, so sonic bomb. Oh no, never mind. It did see it. So do we have blue screen rounds here? Yes, we do. But before we do anything, normal reload, so no more freebies. Kill, kill. Okay, so two, potentially three kills. First of all, Get the ones that are not in pistol range. Take care of. Target eliminated. And then a bit of a soft up.
And a nice little face off. Very good. Let's see if we can kill it. That'll definitely trigger it. Come a little bit closer. You big fat eyeball. Thank you. Understand why we can't banish. All right, we can. Let's go. No, keep it going. Couple of hits, please. We good. Can't handle me. Uh, it's impeccable and untouchable, so in case chrysalids are coming in, I'll just position myself uh, uh, before the Reaper. And that's how it's done, baby. things considered uh, that was rather easy the mission normally should introduce gatekeepers but we have had them left and right and center already so not a problem not surprisingly after just getting almost all of the kills with that weapon Inappropriate Murphy has really started to excel. Alien artifact we recovered from the New objectives added. In order to analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. Cool. Avenger new the only thing that is not so cool is we do not yet have a full team of colonels. Oh wow. Worst heavy weapon in the game. Right away, Commander. Maybe not, uh, we'll get another war suit. Just in case. I might be running two for the final mission, depending on the team setup. PCS superior perception. Oh, thank God. Right. 
Roro has advanced perception, which is good. Then Endors the has nothing, so very good. We had a prime opportunity to send the biggest bomb we have right through it, but instead. Okay, a little bit more intel. We are having definitely enough supplies at this point. I think we cannot upgrade anything else. I wish it, in the end game you could basically trade in supplies for other stuff, quicker training and the like. Already have the upgrades here, 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 laboratories upgrade, defense metrics, yeah, nothing that we can. We could purchase a little bit of equipment, but that's about it. There were some casualties during that last covert action, but our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. Good. Promotion. For Roro. And that would finally get him to Colonel level. Good, we have a healthy roster, just our A team needs a little bit more support. Setting course for the Mexican regional tracks. Good, let's see. Can we can we get our main soldiers back? Ghost is tired, 8-5 is tired, oh, that's too bad. Would have wanted both of you. Roro is going to become a colonel, so that is fine. And we're once again stuck with the B team. Good, let's equip them properly. The M is already equipped. Bastard should get to the high ground. Mimic Beacon into Mimic Beacon, Warlock Rifle done. Okay, quick and painless, let's get that VIP out. Landed. Let's take a good look. Dark VIP there. And we need to get out. Look at that. Got a double agent. Done. Or rather an XCOM operative. Okay. Uh, what is, can we do? What can we do with our Reaper? Because you are supposed to move forward. <coughs> Good.
good. I would say, in absence of any really good movement opportunities, let's just push forward. And we're keeping it nice, steady and slow. No risk. I am on the move. What? Oh, so close. That's the type of uh, mm, shall I say, a creative I go where you placement go of uh, civilians that kills your initial positioning. Will do. Moving up. Can Shinrod get the rooftop? Yes. Lifting off. Okay, this... I mean... We're seeing that this is clear, so technically this should also not trigger. Oh, wow. Barely so. Move up to the rooftop for those who require to move up. Then we got Wilson, who moves to here. Lyrical who moves to here. Yeah, the ones uh, without grappling opportunities, of course, take a little bit longer. <coughs> okay, I can see a sector pot in courtesies. And an Andromedon, okay. Ooh. Tough crowd here. Moving out. Look, I mean, this here would definitely remove a lot of cover and hit a lot of these guys. I'd be curious to understand where exactly the enemies are positioned. My life is in your hands. Can we hit almost all of them? Almost, but not quite. Is it worth completely shredding them and then triggering? I think that's not a bad idea. Good, that'll deal plenty of damage. even triggered the other side interesting good need to find a decent position where I can definitely see all of them it's only those three left really to um, lose concealment. 
So I guess what we're doing is move to here. Hit you very well with lightning hands. Good question. I mean, one grenade could solve uh, all of those problems, but I want to be mindful with uh, the consumables. Currently we can kill the, the mech, but we could definitely do that from this position as well Shinrod has it well under control let's just see if this here kills the sector pod fire no problem unless the second shot misses good I tell you what, uh, this here would definitely kill and injure. Okay, we're now down to four hit points. I still don't want to lose concealment. It's valuable. So advancing teamwork. And that should be a kill. Did you see that one? All right, and the reason why I think uh, concealment indeed is uh, valuable is because you can move up get better closer yeah. positions okay andromedon might come in yeah not a surprise and the cortices might come in as well don't think that that will be a huge surprise either beginning to move up Let's kill the Andromedon. Pushing forward. We do have death from above here, <clears throat> so free reload um, with our sniper. I think this is just going to injure, set up for a death from above kill. Continuing to move up, hit the shell. And we're good. 
Good, we still have codices running around, but the two difficult packs we have taken care of. Hmm. I was about to say he isn't running away, that might be a faceless one. Nice. That's exactly what we need. Good, we don't have mimic beacons ready. Uh, that's why I don't tend to to use her immediately. Removing the rest of the house. Location confirmed. Overwatch. And a bit of overwatch. Hmm. Codices. Codex time is not happy time, guys. That's my trigger. It does not. Third codex somehow managed to escape that fate. Ready to rock. Whatever you say. And that's a hopefully kill. It's a dodge. All right, cloning. I don't like that. We have a very strict no cloning policy here at XCOM. Reconcealing. And let's take a good look what we're dealing with. Dark VIP is there, okay. Way too much fire for my liking. Look, we can always reposition. can always reposition but for now this seems to look fine Got it. Move it. going in with concealment Miracle moves up as well. <clears throat> All right. Good. This turn will be one where we're just going to reposition mainly.
Sure. Okay. I mean, it can happen. It can happen. Luckily, luckily we got everything ready. Sort of. Running and gunning. Air trigger and implacable. Perfect. Let's move already. Good combination. Put off the armor. Currently untouchable. I like that. Teamwork down there. Into jump up here. Let's strike him. Oh yeah, that's good. Good, and that automatically had been the last one. Interesting. All right, what kind of heck can we get? Um, yeah, not necessarily good. I think they are immune to mimic beacons because they know uh, that these are beacons. Not a perfect position, but one that we can work with. Heavily injured. And down. Everybody else moves up. Okay, moves to here, run, run, continue to run. Get 
Good. End of turn. Subdue. Pick him up. And next turn should be evac. We're getting reinforcements. Yep. But that doesn't matter, we're not going to fight them. Fabulous! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The last pack was unfortunately triggered, but okay. If you do have enough mobility, really nothing in the end game is a problem. As you can always shift your soldiers to different places. Good, we're, we want loot because that could be PCSs and we're still missing them. Let's research the Psionic Gate. Almost uh, through with all of the missions. We got a shred storm cannon, that's good. And we got a new chance for some missions uh, to get experience. Rural checkpoints, that looks interesting. Specialist colonel, hmm. I think we're going to go to do that. Most enemies means most potential experience there. Good, but well, that's the end of today's episode because that would already be the next episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching. We're on the final lap of uh, this run. The only thing that I would want to do is we're going to get Roro or automatically promoted. So it's really just Ghost and 8-5 that need the promotions. But I'm pretty sure we're very, very close to promotion. So uh, those two should be fine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode and have a good day. Bye bye.